everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage. Thanks for joining us for another live video on Facebook, YouTube, and at Eastwood.com. Today I've got Bo here, Product Manager for Specialty Tools, and he's going to be demonstrating for us TPMS tire tool, uh, scan tools, which are going to help you clear codes, diagnose problems. Uh, we have bore scopes that are, you know, that are pretty cool. We're going to demonstrate them, and we might even show you some new powder coat uh, colors. And if you have any questions, as always, over here, don't be afraid to post them. Everybody's favorite tech advisor, Scotty C, is here today. He's not mic'd up, um, so he can't banter with us, so I can harass him if I want to. But uh, if you have any questions, post them. He'll answer them, and um, he might even pass them over to us so we can demonstrate them. So, Bo, what are we starting out with first here? This, should we start over here? Yeah. With, the, with this, uh, our basic It is scope? our basic. So, so this is a basic borescope camera. Um, Works with your PC, Mac, computer. Uh, it's about six feet long, so yeah. you get plenty of reach out of it. Um, it's a great tool. Say you lose something down a door panel while you're working yeah. on it. We've been using spot. we've been using this a lot lately around here. Actually, we, we have we got yeah we've been using it in frames and and everywhere else. So we even have some footage of us using this one. So yeah, so like where you know where would you use this at? Like inside so, a frame, like exactly. you drop a nut or a socket. Any tight, hard to see spots where it's dark, this uh, camera has an illumination device on the end, so you can snake it down frames, indoor panels, uh, you know, in your house, say you drop something under a fridge or behind a tight spot, you can mm -hmm. use it there as well. An engine. Engine. I mean, it's good for all kinds of different uses. Um, a lot of guys will use it to check cylinders for piston wear, okay. scores on the cylinder, stuff like that. Anything you drop that you can't see too. Exactly. Now, the, now this one, you do need a, a computer. Like you as do. you saw in some of that footage, we had it hooked up to a laptop. Yeah, you need a laptop, desktop. Um, but this is our most affordable. This is our. This it is. is. Okay. It's no frills, but it does the job you need it to do. Yeah, like I said, we've been using it. You know, the footage was all was all from from this unit. So so if you're just looking for something simple to, to use around your car, your house, this would be a, exactly. a good one. But if you're looking at oh, and it comes with, I should say, it comes with a, a magnet, which you saw there when we were getting for if you drop a socket or yep. You know, not only just for looking around and a hook. Oh, the magnet attached to it. A hook, magnet hook, and you also get a little mirror as well. And the magnet is pulling everything towards it. You also get a little mirror. And all that just hooks on to the end. I could show you here, in case you didn't see it. Look, Joe's in here. And it just all, everything just hooks on to the end of the, uh, to the, um, oops, like this. So just everything just slides on. And then you have your little magnet there. Yeah, for wherever. So if you got to fish something back out, you just yes, slide sir. it down the camera, see where it is, hook onto it, pull it back out. Pull it back out, yeah. I mean, because that footage we had when we were uh, uh, pulling that nut out, out of the uh, frame, was actually with this camera, with that magnet hooked up. So we move on to the, some of the other bore scopes we've got here. These are the Alltel ones. These are the Alltel ones. Uh, the next one here is going to be oh, our nice. intermediate level. Um, it's self-contained. You don't need a PC or any other device to use it. Uh, you get a few more features with it. So you can turn on the screen here. Um, it comes with a rigid cable for the camera, so you mm -hmm. can kind of form it to where you want to go. Uh, you have the screen here, which can do two levels of zoom, either zoomed in, zoomed out, 2x zoom. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to shine it here at the Eastwood logo. Joe, can you get in, or should we come out to you a little bit? Come out to me. We can come out to Joe a little bit. There you go. So we can demonstrate. OK, yeah. So now the logo is upside down. Now what do we do? So then you can hit this button here, and you can rotate your view. So, so this one rotates the view. Of, you got like three choices here. Yeah. Okay. You can also adjust the brightness on the light. And like I said, there's uh, a zoom feature where you can zoom in 2x in case you're really trying to see something in detail or get a better view of what you're looking at. So you've got two times the zoom on, on, on this one, and you can rotate it uh, a few times. And this one. Uh, um, what else can this one do besides that? That's pretty much it for that one. Okay. You get the color display. 640 by 480. Yep. So I'm gonna sh should I shut this off? So we're not. Uh oh, there we go. Move on to the the uh, the so big. This is the bigger unit. Um, yeah. With this one, you get a few more bells and whistles, uh, some more gadgets to go with it. First thing you get, bigger screen. And this one comes with a magnet and. It does. Too, Both right? of them come with the magnets and accessories like that. So okay. if you got to fish something out, you can use them for that. Um, so let's move back out closer to, or can Joe come in a little bit? So we move out a little bit towards him. I'll aim it at the, the logo again. So uh, where am I? So again, it's, 
it's can we uh, rotate the screen again? Or we gotta, can. Um, you can see the Eastwood logo. So you get four different orientations. So this one you can orientate a few different. Oh, where? I'm losing a logo. I'm confused. There it is. Okay, so you can keep. Oh yeah, so you can really. So this is, so that'd be great like if you're going down any, you know, a cylinder or down a frame anywhere where you can't see exactly. it. Exactly. Center things upside down. You can flip you it so it looks a better. Times. Um, so with this one, you get multiple levels of zoom, five different zoom levels. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also do still pictures and record video, whereas the other one just lets you do live feeds of data. Okay. So you can save it on a micro SD card and then convert that over to your computer and have it. So if you were doing shots before, you know, you wanted to work on it, you could record what needs to be done. Um, beyond that, you can do an audio out connection with an RCA cable and an adapter that hooks into here, so you can stream to a TV if you want. Um, okay, so, so, so if you wanted to see it on a bigger, on a bigger screen, you can. Exactly. And, and, and if you want to watch the video playback on something, on a computer, you can watch it on that. Exactly. You have it saved to the okay. SD card, um, and then you can bring it to your computer. And this one's rechargeable. It is. Whereas the, the other version we were looking at has a couple batteries in yeah, it. Yeah, it right? takes, I believe, two double A's. Yeah. Um, so this you just plug into the wall, it's ready to go again. That one you just have to replace the batteries occasionally. Cool. Well, can, I, can I try this one out? Yeah, go right ahead. Alright, we've got a frame setting over here. And uh, we can only imagine what's in the, in the end of this, of joking. Now I haven't... You good, Joe? I'm good. You get in? So we're back to this 67 Chevy subframe. Oh, let me, hold on, good. right there? We good? Yeah. Oh, and as you can see, there's a mouse nest back there. Uh, should we go into the... This is actually pretty cool. There is a lot of rust on the inside of this. This needs internal frame coding when we're done, I think. So if I wanted to rotate, do I just click this? Uh, yep. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can really rotate that, that thing around. I'm pulling out. That's pretty cool bore scope there. Cool. Wow, geez. So, so now we've seen that. Now what are we going to move on to? Uh, let's move on to the uh, TPMS uh, programmer. So this is a new tool to the lineup. The TPMS, that's for tire, tire pressure sense. Sensors. Monitoring sensors. Um, a little bit of a tongue twister. Yeah. So, uh, new tool, uh, mostly aimed at the newer cars. They all have uh, the pressure monitoring systems in the tires. Yeah. Um, if you need to get a new sensor, reprogram one. Uh, without this tool, the only place you have is the dealer. And it's not cheap. It's not. If you call yeah. the dealer, they're going to charge you $100 whether you need one programmed or four. So, okay. you buy this, it pretty much pays, pays for, for itself. itself. That's um, cool. Some other tricks it can do. Say you have your key fob, it's acting up but you're not sure if it is actually acting up, mm -hmm. it has a sensor that will let you test your key fob and you'll see it actually gives you a reading bar right there that shows you that mm -hmm. it's sending a transmission. Yeah. Um, so that's a nice little added feature there. Or say you're racing or you just want to make sure that your uh, sensors in your tires are working. It also has a diagnostic mode where you can speak to the sensors in the tire and get information like pressure, temperature, Mm -hmm. And again, also see if they're just working or not working. So we can do that right now with Joe's car. Joe, okay. Oh, okay. We can take it down to the wheel here and yeah, see exactly. what's going on. So basically, if you think you've got a bad sensor, instead of taking it somewhere, you can just knock it down without taking the tire off the wheel. Well, you can test it with that and replace your sensor make sure, and program, make sure everything works. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So Joe, can we get you get around here, go back to the tire? Now, so now this will work now domestic and foreign domestic and foreign you know your average ford to your bentley okay oh <laughs> so if you come down here we've already pre-programmed it to joe's car we're going to select volvo s60 the year and then we select the left front tire for here we hit the communicate button and then we just set it down here and let it talk and, and, and now this one has a rechargeable battery as well, right? It does have a rechargeable battery. Um, you can plug it in, get it charged up. And the battery lasts for a fairly long time. We've been playing with it for about a week now and haven't charged it once, so. Oh, okay. <clears throat> once it's finished talking, it'll beep. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. 
And uh, all these all tell tools, I mean, they're all available at Eastwood. We have our own uh, product category now for like specialty automotive tools. We do. It's uh, on the web. I don't know if we have it completely set up for auto specialty tools yet, but we're working yeah. on that. Because um, we're getting more of these all the time. Okay, there we go. So it's talk to the tire. So what we can do is go back to the left front tire, hit the yes button. And then up here, it's going to give us our different readings. The pressure right now is at 39 pounds. The tire is at 64 degrees. Again, not the every guy is going to want to know that, but if yeah. you're racing, it might be important information. Or if you think one of your monitors is broken, the car doesn't tell you which one, you can talk to all four and see if one isn't see communicating. Which, okay. Um, beyond that, if we had a sensor to replace, we could program it again, you know, break down the tire. Yeah, so then rather you got a little problem, rather than taking it back to the dealer, you just do this. And exactly. You're not paying the diagnostic solved. fee there or anything like that. Okay. So... That leads us into the next ones, but probably one of the ones everybody here wants to see is um, the, o the, the OBD scanners. They are. These are more your everyday scanners. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've all had that time when the check engine light comes on. We don't know what it is. Uh, we have two versions right now. You we can't have, get your car inspected, at least not in Pennsylvania. You can't. So this allows off. you to clear codes or diagnose problems to see what's wrong. Exactly. So the smaller one's going to give you your generic codes, your P102s, 201s, whatever it is, mm -hmm. that you can then look up and see what the issue is. But you can also clear the codes, reset your readiness monitors, mm -hmm. um, all the basic functions of an OBD2 reader. Okay. Then we have the bigger version here, which is a little bit more advanced, does all those same basic things where you can read codes, you can clear readiness monitors, reset, uh, check engine light codes, but you can also do live data feeds. So say you get a code and it has kind of a few different options to what could be wrong. And one of them is like your throttle position sensor. With okay. the live data feed, you can look at it and look at the operation of that sensor and see if there's a gap there that might be causing the problem. So you can see real-time data. Exactly. I mean, besides just find out what the code is, you'll be able to see RPMs. RPMs, mass airflow sensor readings, throttle possession sensor readings. Um, most of the systems will show up on this yeah. and show how they're functioning and maybe if there's a problem there that can help you narrow down that original code. So we, as part of that, we broke Joe's car. Yeah, so let's <laughs> check it out. Let's see this thing in action. We'll get Joe maybe a little close. Well, we can come out the window with it, right? We can. Now, is this just in English? This is in more than this is in English, Spanish, and French, I believe. It is. Yeah. So anybody there who's watching it, watching this in Spanish, and wondering why I'm speaking English, if you buy the scan code, you'll be fine. Oh, you're coming over here. Where we're going to come out? Remember, we're coming out the window. We can hold it right here where we were. That's okay. Oh, I'll move over here. Are you going to move? Oh. We're live, baby. <clears throat> so like I said, we broke Joe's car. We wanted to throw a code, so yeah. we unhooked a few things. Um, to check and see what's going on, you go to the OB2, or OBD2 scanner section over here. You go into it. The computer is going to talk to the car. And you'll see the red lights come on because there's an issue. Uh -oh. And then it starts telling you, danger, danger. One second, it'll bring up the codes. Oh, we got to go to the make. Is Volvo on there? Uh. So here again, it's giving you the generic code, a P179, um, or 1719. And in this instance, it's going to tell you to reverse or refer to your service manual. So you go on your service manual, you go online, you look it up, and it's going to tell you um, bad mass airflow sensor or bad intake pressure sensor, mm -hmm. because those are the items that we unplugged in the car. Yeah. <clears throat> so then... You can back out and uh, say you weren't completely sold, that that's what it was. We can go into the live data feed now. Again, it's going to talk to the car. We're going to choose the complete data set, which is all the sensors that are available. 
So this is live, like live RPMs. Exactly. This is exactly what the car is doing at this moment. You can see where it's idling at for RPMs. If you come down here, it's going to give you uh, some other sensors to look at. Just trying to go down through. Uh -oh. Question mark. I'm trying to find like the throttle position here. We're back to the beginning. We are back to the beginning. It also has a throttle position sensor listed here, some other things so you can again watch them run while they're going on. So then if the throttle position sensor isn't showing what you expect it to show. Exactly. Like so one way to diagnose if it is throttle position sensor is as you push on the throttle, you'll see the reading go up gradually. Mm -hmm. If there's a problem there, generally you'll see a gap in the reading, so it'll jump from 20% to 50%. Okay. Instead of going 20, 25, 30 um, gradually. So if we were to go and shut Joe's car off, hook the sensors back up, we could exit out of here. And again, we could go to erase codes and we could erase the codes. Right now it's not going to work because the car is running and yeah. the two sensors are unhooked. Uh -huh. um, but again, great tool for people that have 96 and newer cars. Uh, tells you a lot of great data, lets you diagnose your own problems instead of paying someone 60 bucks to do that. And then whatever the repair fee is. Then you just um, do it yourself. Exactly. A tool that everyone should have in their toolbox. Yeah. And it works on everything, what, 96 and newer? 96 and newer. Which is, has 21 years ago now. It is, I feel old. Yeah. <laughs> so most cars on the road, this would be fine. Yep. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, if, if you're into any of these uh, tools that we've gone over, if you're watching this, uh, if you just tuned in, you can watch it recorded. We were showing bore scopes, the, the TPMS tire pressure uh, tool, as well as these uh, scan tools. And we've got one other thing. We just came in. Powder. Hot coat collars. Just came in the door yes. today. Yeah, we got new. If, if, if you're familiar with Eastwood, um, we've got, I'll let Joe uh, head on over there to where they're at. Um, if you're familiar with Eastwood, we have about 100 powder coating colors, and we've been adding more. And we've added, what, how many? A dozen or 13 just There's 11 the last there. Few days? There's two more coming in. Um, basically, we're trying to expand our color palette, get some new colors that aren't our typical, you know, Eastwood classic hot rod colors. Yeah. Um, trying to broaden the market there a little bit. Um, so, so beyond, because, I mean, because me and you, we did a video a few months ago, and like, we showed doing glass, uh, uh, outlet covers. Fishing lures. Fishing lures. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do besides car parts, which is what we tend to Exactly. The show because that's our you know we're always doing you know air cleaner covers or uh, uh, timing chain covers valve covers everything you always want to dress up on your car yeah we're always doing that but you know but there's a lot of other stuff you can do and we sell not only that you know we sell the powder coating guns dual voltage gun the we oven. sell the oven so we have everything as well as now over a hundred uh, powder coating colors so if you're into that you know click the link you know check out Eastwood check out all of our powder coating colors and supplies well I guess that's it. Oh, Scott, do we have any questions? The one I have is if, this, if those can do ABS codes. So the one question is, um, we don't have any questions. No. <laughs> the question no. Scott had is, uh, can the scan tools we just went over do ABS codes? They cannot. Um, we are working on a tool that could mm -hmm. do that, but that's a little ways down the road. The two OBD2 scanners are just for engine-related issues. Okay. You know, O2 sensors throttle position sensors, stuff like that. Okay. Um, ABS is a different system. And you get own. the live playback like we just saw, so you can watch whatever's happening with your car live. It's exactly. Not just, uh, it's not just a clear code. You can diagnose uh, while you're there, too. So, well, if that's it, then, um, yeah, I guess, uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow. We're coming every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time Live. Tomorrow, we've got, what do we, what do we have? Oh, we're going to use the expander wheel. We've got, we got a brand new expander wheel. you got to see that in action. And Wednesday, if you tuned in two weeks ago, when Matt was repairing that 56 Chevy, I'm looking at the wrong camera, when Matt was repairing the 56 uh, uh, Chevy fender, he's going to fin uh, finish it up tomorrow. So you're going to see a lot of metal work, some TIG welding tomorrow if you tune in at 3 o'clock. So, well, thanks a lot, Bo. No problem. And um, I guess I'll see you again in about a month in here, right? All right. See you All then. right. See you guys.